Hi there, so we're going to do a quick tutorial on tracking an object, but not only tracking an object, but making it so it is centered. All right, so in this case, I'm going to use some drone footage, and it's, it was kind of a fun test I did, um, and I was tracking my goofball dogs here. But the challenge I had is when you have like a nice broad thing like this and you want to really zoom in and track something, um, how do you keep it centered? All right, so we're going to go over go over that a bit. It's going to be, I'll try to try to be reasonably, reasonably brief on this. So anyway, this was kind of a final product. Um, it should have a video somewhere. I also played around with some camera tracking and put in a nice sculpture and shadow just for fun. Not, didn't turn out quite like I wanted, but whatever. All right, it's kind of funny, funny thing. So oh, let's jump into it. So let's just get a new timeline here. And I'm going to start with the edit menu. And for purpose of this, why don't we just narrow this down to kind of a point where I start tracking here. Doo, doo, doo. Let's find out where we're at here. All right, let's just start right there. And we'll just make this one reasonably short. All right. Okay, so we'll have something short where we can track pretty quick. And we'll, yeah, we got the thing moving. We'll track this little dog right here, okay? One of our little knuckleheads I had to go out and find while they ran away on their little uh, nocturnal excursion. So let's just jump into the Fusion. And let's just start straight away with Median. And let me turn off the keyframes here and such. A little more real estate. And I'll just turn off Media out. I'm going to have a few things before we get there. And with our median, all right, we've got this tight little range. Let's uh, put in a tracker. And we'll just track. Uh, we're just going to use one tracker for this point, for this purpose. Let's track a little Remy down here. All right, let's make sure we can see. All right, that looks, eh, let's tighten that up just a little bit. And I'll keep the search a little bit bigger, just so we do it in one swoop. Uh, I'm going to use an adaptive mode for every frame, because these guys move. All right. And it's going to adjust what it's looking for every frame, which is good for this particular situation. OK, we've got all kinds of good little movement there. This is kind of a nice little range. All right, that actually looks that looks really, really good. We move around, looks like our track stayed right, right on the middle of uh, my little little dog there. Okay, so next thing, let's go ahead and throw in a transform. And we're actually going to use two of these, and I'll show you why. So the transform, let's go ahead and I just drag it and drop it up here. Of course, as you know, I could here and just hit numeral two to bring it up. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to do this the first way, which um, is a little less flexibility. So it's going to take the center of the track, the actual tracked point, and put it right in the center. And I'm going to do a second way which gives you more flexibility with modifiers, all right? So let's go for the first way. And essentially, I'm going to come up here and um, go to the center, all right? So if we think about this, let's just do this visually for a second here. Um, if I want to reposition, let's go ahead and let's just manually do it so we can kind of get a visual. Let's find, let's find an interesting location where the tracker is way off to the right. Okay, so it's way over here, all right? So if we want to get this to the center and then zoom in, effectively what we're going to have to do is move it over here, all right? And then, of course, we're going to, you know, zoom it in, all right? But we want that to happen automatically, all right? One thing I know about tracking or camera moving is, is never, never, never do it on your own and try to do it by hand. It just doesn't work. Okay, every frame is just is just off and you'll just drive yourself nuts. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and right click and let's go and modify with an expression. All right, modifier tab just worked right here. And right away, this went to zero, zero. All right, this is zero, zero. This is one in the X direction and going up is one in the Y, all right? Which is very scalable because if you have the same form factor, you can put in proxy video and it's, it's really nice to have this, this zero to one coordinate system. All right, so let's go to modifiers now, all right? So under modifiers up here, we're expression for the center for this transform. So make sure this transform's clicked. And what are we gonna modify? Well, why don't we grab 
first off let's connect to tracker one position all right so now we have this as data and let's jump to where we're going to put all this information and where it, where it gets outputted and this is the point out so i know right now i'm going to put an n1 and n2 all right and n1 and n2 under modifiers is these numbers right here all right okay so we've got the starting point of getting this track data we've got the end point of where you know of what's going to get output but now let's do the middle part let's go ahead and put right click on n1 make an expression and let's do n2 right click uh, right click right click and do an expression and okay so n1 is uh, basically going to be the x coordinate all right this is the x and this is the y so why don't we take this x value now what are we going to do this is where you have to think a little bit well if we think about this right now it's at zero zero so if our track point was way up here at one one like the dog was right here okay well then we would want you know the center to be zero zero and if the track point was at this corner all right meaning that the track points at zero zero we would want the center to be up here at one one if that makes sense so this is kind of a way of trying to visualize and sometimes you need a piece of paper to think about these coordinates and how to work this out but really it's quite simple let's just go one minus this value right here so i'll even make it easy i'll pick whip okay that's p1 but p1 is a data structure it's p1.x it's an object okay boom all right so it's basically it's the opposite uh of what it, it's just one minus this value and let's go one minus uh, p1 dot y capital y it's case sensitive look at that all right now it looks like a little dog is right in the center okay so it looks like we've done it about right now if we kind of scroll along here we'll see is that right yep there he is okay all right so it works now here's a trick we don't just want to be in the center we want to zoom in now we could do some fancy math all right and um, I don't know what it would look like exactly but we could come back and tie into the the zoom because right now I'll show you what happens if you let's go way off here let's where was it way off yeah right there if we try to zoom in now with that see it doesn't work right um, because here's a center point that goes over so we'd have to factor in the zoom value and adjust this value further out and it'd be a little bit trickier math we could figure it out but an easier way is to just put in another transform and the second transform is really for the zoom so if we want i could uh even relabel this i'll say transform on zoom all right so now with this guy let's go ahead and make sure and let's bring it up in here let's just go ahead and zoom in in this case well if it's this extreme we're probably not going to zoom far enough to have a border all right but that's just you know that's just the way it is right but everywhere else let's take a look looks like our dog is centered up it's not really moving much here but the drone is moving around as we can see over here all right so that works so we have a two transform we, we broke it up in two pieces okay so now i said there's going to be a little bit more of an advanced way because let's say like all right this is something i struggle with track points because you're always stuck with a damn track point and you it's a lot of times you just want to you know move it somewhere else or have a little bit of control if the track point didn't quite do what you want you just want to manually fix it so let's go back to this transform here all right and heck why don't we just relabel this give notes to our future selves if we have to open this up i'm going to put trn for transform and then put uh center in fact i'll just put center uh, on track okay so i know what it is now let's go back to i got this clicked let's go back to the modifiers and let's just adjust this equation and let's just give ourselves a factor to add so let's go plus n3 and plus n4 all right here's number three number four all right and n3 is a, is the name of this these these objects these variables so what this does this is pretty nice this gives us the ability to 
manually, and that, this is a little bit coarser, but if you come over here and just drag, it's a little bit finer. We can actually manually adjust this number. All right, so now if I wanted the dog in the left-hand side here, all right, and have some text or an overlay or something like that, um, I can do so, okay? The other nice thing about if you do this number-wise is you could, of course, keyframe it, obviously. So just as an example, let's say I have the dog starting on the left here, and I put a keyframe, and over the course of the stabilized footage, I bring them over to the right, okay? Well, let's just see if this works. So it's keyframed to gradually bring them over, all right? Okay, or actually that'd be a good example too, like when I when it's really extremely on the edge there, maybe I would bring him all the way to the left, all right, when I had it uh, a little bit too close. But anyways, you, you get the idea. All right, so now we have it centered and we can actually adjust it, all right, where we like within there. And again, you could do this, like I said, say throwing a football or something like that and you want to track the football, you know, and the flight or something, you can certainly do so. But we have one more thing to make this, I think, fully useful. And that is, let's say we want to start the video out um, just more centered and drawn back, all right, without having all this stuff. Because right now, if our zoom is all the way back, you know, we're going to get, uh, we're going to get white space out here, right? Just clear space, all right? And we don't want that. So let's just say, for example, let's just pick an even number. For purposes like at 600 we want to be fully zoomed in and we want to start the zoom say like 560 all right so we have about 40 frames where we're going to zoom in so stick bear with me here so let's say we're going to let's zoom in pretty aggressively let's put up like i don't know like nine all right now if that's not where we want we can come back here on this and let's go ahead and modifiers and adjust it uh, let's adjust it over a little bit you know what i'm going to get rid of these keyframes too Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust it. There it is, like right about like that, okay? So I want at frame six, where was I? Oh, I zoomed back in. At frame, uh, let's go frame 600, I want to be, I was typing right here, 600. Okay, I want to be zoomed in. But upstream from that, I want to be wide out at the full, full view, all right? Okay, this gets a little tricky, but... You know, node-based flow um, is okay, uh, but layer-based, like After Effects, is nicer because sometimes because you can actually see the layers and stack things on top and end, a, you know, end it and then and start the next one. And it's a little bit harder to visualize that. If anyone has a better idea, like I've used keyframes and splines, and I um, it hasn't quite worked as easily as uh, as uh, I would like. But anyways, let's do this now. Let's go ahead and put in a merge node all right and we'll let's just hook these guys up and we'll think about what we want to do so let's take the original footage all right the absolute original footage and why don't we do this why don't we make this I'm gonna hit command T control T and switch it for the background okay so the original footage is the background yellow and, and the green is a foreground because Kermit the frogs on stage he's a foreground all right okay and let's go back to say uh, let's go back to say like 560 and let's say from right here we're gonna start zooming in and we're gonna end up at 600 to be exactly like this video that this frame and then we're going to switch over and turn on the green foreground and let, let this guy take over. All right, this technique is broader use, utilized than just this, but this is, this is a really, really, um, really fundamental thing as far as setting up your, uh, setting up your flow of, of handing off uh, footage from, from, from basically one section to another section to another flow. So we're going to have to have a transform. So I'm going to actually click out here and make a transform. I hold down Shift. And interpose it right here so at 560 why don't we go ahead and set a keyframe on the center and the size which is a stock right now fully zoomed out like this and when we get to 600 all right 600 I want this to look like that and then we're going to switch over and turn on the green all right 
right now so the green is already on all right this this lane but um, I'll, I'll show you how we we just keyframe that with the blend here in a second so let's do this so at 600 we're on the transform let's just manually start zooming now if you recall I think I did this at 9 so why don't we let me bring this transform up here in 1 let's just go ahead to 9 because I believe I zoomed into 9 right here in the zoom okay and let's just drag this guy over um, actually I could probably get the values here but I want to show you a way because sometimes it's hard to track these values if you got a multiple things acting upon an image all right, so I'm going to show you a slick little manual way of doing this. So this is the center. I'm going to get it about like that, all right? It's not perfect yet. So how can we perfectly line this up? Well, we can do it mathematically. I can go to this track center and find this and get these values. That works. Um, let me show you another quick way. Let's go to apply, mo apply, apply, mo apply mode and go down to difference. All right. Look at this. So I'm looking at merge one. It's up here. Okay, so the difference in this merge clearly shows it's different. It's not lined up. And you don't have to get it completely perfect, but it's kind of nice to. So now I'm clicked on the transform. Let's go ahead and play around. And it kind of you can kind of tell when you're you hone in your X and your Y, it gets sort of like even if you're not perfect, you kind of see how I don't know how well it shows up in the screen capture, but Oh yeah, that's pretty perfect. Uh, let's see here. It's pretty dang dark. And I think that will work pretty well within a frame to kind of quote, hand off the baton from this to that. All right. Okay, very well. So now let's go make sure that you remember to go back to merge and let's go back and um, just do a normal. All right, so we'll completely overwrite. So right now the green is completely overwriting. So let's do this. Let's go to frame 600, which we're there. We're 600. Let's do the blend, all right? And let's do a keyframe. And let's bring the blend, leave it at one. Now let's go back one frame, 599. And let's bring the blend down to zero. Okay? So let's go zero, one. Okay, it looks like that hands off pretty nice. All right. So now you can see right now when we're at this, uh, you know, whatever we are, like 541 to 600, this guy is in play. All right. Because a blend of the, you know, the overlay, the green is zero. As soon as we get, it's just one keyframe. It just, so we go from 599, our blend is zero. All right. Meaning it's completely off. And boom, then it pops on. Now, I don't see. Uh, all right, I guess that'll work. I might want to blend on 599. Get them over. Now, nah, I actually don't think it matters. I think we're I think we're good on that. Okay, so there you have it. Um, that is what I basically wanted to communicate. Of course, remember to cook it to your media out, and when you come back to edit. Um, here you go. You can just do a final test here. Let's do a final run. So we're zoomed out and we zoomed right in. We've centered up. Now we're centered on this guy. Yeah, beautiful. Love it. Okay, that's all I got. Any questions, comments, put it down. I probably won't read them. Um, you know, this is just sort of a fun little thing. So <laughs> you don't have to subscribe. I don't really care if this helps out and you found it in a search. Great. Um, but yeah, have fun. It's good stuff. I love uh, Fusion. It's amazing. Amazing tool. It's great fun we can do with this. Can't believe it's accessible to us. Thank you. Cheers.